Okay. So the main difference in the motors is the plastic around that, that gear on the sort of white plastic side. The other side, they're identical, so that's fine. But here is the size around the plastic gear. So the problem here is the newer one is a lot fatter. You've got a lot more access here. And it's not going to fit into the 9 volt motor. So what you need to do is so wires are towards the the bottom of the motor, so where you put the panel back on. So we want to chop with our Dremel to get a cutting disc. You want to go down there, down the bottom, down the side, and then you want to just try and round it off. And it just all it needs to do is go as up to the cog. You just want to go make it make it round a U shape down the bottom as close to the cog as you can. Try not to damage the cog. And I'll come back once I've got that done. Okay, so this is what we're going for. See how it's rounded on the bottom? That's how it was for the cutting. And rounded on the bottom. Just try and be careful because you may possibly damage all the plastic, but you should be okay as long as you leave the top alone. Should be enough to hold the motor. So now would be very similar. So what you want to do is test fit. The motor in your shell. Okay, so now, now we'll trim that down. Like so. We want to test fit it. So the plastic side, this side, goes opposite to here it should just sit in like so yeah so to make sure you've got enough cut off it should be all pretty much sitting flush on the very top of the casing like that see it doesn't really move Okay, so now we've got our two cables and our PF cables down here. So now we want to get our metal pieces. So what we're doing here is, so they fit in there. You want to solder this motor cable onto this piece here this one here. Do this outside of the case, it's easier, so that will go onto there. And then with your other one, same thing on this side, solder onto that. So I'll do that and then I'll be back.